Hey guys, Sarah from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm currently on my way to the Flint River, which is an incredible fishery. It's a famous shoal bass fishery. I got the opportunity to fish it a couple times last summer, and my first day out there, I caught over 30 bass. So, so I'm super excited to be going back again. And next week, which by the time this video comes out, I'll probably already be done with, um, is an event called Sholy Palooza. It's the first ever event for the Kayak Adventure Series, which is something that Drew Gregory started this year. He's like a big kayak fisherman. I'm sure some of y'all have definitely heard of him. But today, I'm basically, this is my practice day for the tournament. And I'm planning on it maybe being one day. I have camping stuff with me, so I was considering doing a day trip, um, but I have my camping stuff, so you know, if I wanna stay the night, I could. Um, but I do have to be somewhere tomorrow night, so if I, if I end up camping tonight, I'll probably just stay, you know, and fish in the morning or something like that. But I don't know, that's pretty much the plan for today. I mean, my plan for today is basically just to have fun and catch some fish. That's my gonna be my plan for the tournament as well. Um, I don't want to get too caught up with the competitiveness, but you know, if I do well in the tournament, that's an added bonus, and I am getting the opportunity to practice, which probably not everyone's going to be able to do. So I don't know. I mean, I think it should be good, um, and see if we can catch some fish today. All right, y'all. I'm finally on the Flint. Uh, I got to the boat ramp probably an hour and a half ago. It took forever getting my stuff ready, but now I'm out here. I was originally planning on going upstream and then back down, but after talking to some guys. It sounds like it's better to just go downstream a little and then back up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, being alone, I do have my motor with me today, so I can motor back up some of the areas. But like right here where there's shoals, I'm going to have to get out of that on my way back up. So I don't want to go too far down. But uh, I don't know, we're here and we're going to try to catch some fish. And I may throw this topwater around some. I, I don't know if it's really the best time of the year for topwater, but I'm just going to try it a little, I think. Oh, wow, was that a hit on my first cast? I think it was. I think it might have been a sunfish or something, but. Oh, got one already already on the chop though. No way. Oh gosh, surely. Wow. All right, well, you all know me, you know I love the chop though. Took about, I don't even know, I've hardly been out here at all. Already caught one. All right, well, he might only be 12 and a half inches, but I got this fish super fast, probably like five minutes in. I actually got a hit on top of my very first cast. So I guess that was a good sign. And a lot of times this grass is a good area to throw that top water. All right, thanks for biting, bud. Hopefully we'll catch your grandpa. Oh, no, I didn't get him, dang it. Dude, they are hitting top water. I forget where I got that bite, somewhere up there. Ooh, nice. Dude, this one's, it's not big, but it's, it's bigger. It's not bad. Ooh, it's pretty good actually, it's not bad. Man, maybe I'll just throw top water the whole Shoei Palooza. I mean, he's not like that big, but. Oh, and he came off in the net, perfect. Dude, I mean, it looks like I can probably just catch a bunch of top water fish all day but they're probably not going to be big. That's just the one thing. All right, might be a 15 incher. I mean, the person who wins Sholey Palooza is probably going to have over 100 inches, which, you know, I'm not expecting to get that. So um, this is not a bad fish. I mean, he's probably 15, like I said, but realistically, if you want to even be somewhat competitive, you probably want your smallest fish to be at least like 16. All right, 15 and a quarter, we'll take that. I'm happy that topwater fish are biting, that's for sure. Nice, got him right there. Right where I thought it'd be. Oh my gosh, this is a problem. Gosh. Oh, great. That, that's a tricky situation right there. Somehow my braid didn't break on that rock right there. And... There we go. Wow. Dude, can't believe they're hitting the chopper this good. I mean, it's not that crazy. I knew the water's gonna be a lot warmer down here than where I'm used to fishing, so. All right, second biggest. 
probably only like 13 and a half inches, but he nailed it right off that rock wall, uh, kind of in that slack water right against the current. Good spot for a fish to be. Yeah, he's only like 13. We will let him go. All right, y'all, I'm about an hour and 24 minutes in. Um, I've only caught three fish, but unfortunately I just got to a spot where there's no fishing signs on both sides of the river. And technically in Georgia, the landowners are allowed to do that, which is ridiculous. I mean, look how big this river is. Um, there is, you know, proposed law changes. I don't know if it'll happen, but I don't want to risk getting in trouble. So I just turned around. I knew they were somewhere down there. I didn't know they were this close, but and I didn't know they were on both sides or not, but then I saw they were on both sides. So I'm just going to go back up river. And my initial plan was just to go straight up river today. So I may just kind of go along with my plan, even though I'm, you know, I'm further down. So it's going to take longer to get up there, but I don't know. I may try it out. And if this doesn't work out, I'm probably going to go to where I know is good tomorrow and then I'm allowed to fish. And that's probably where I'll end up fishing the tournament unless I find some good water upstream of where I put in. Oh, right there. Awesome. Got back up to this little shoal. It's not a very big one, but it's another fish. I just took a little uh, lunch break. Actually, I mean, he's not big, but he's, oh, might be the second biggest we've caught. Dang. For me, it's hard not to fish the Chapo if I know I can catch him on the Chapo, so. That's what I'm gonna probably fish a lot of the day. He's about 13 and a half. Man, these rocks are so slick. I don't, I'm not using my boots anymore. I just have old tennis shoes with me. This one, this one. Oh my gosh. Ow. I'm not used to this muddy water. Ugh, just gotta go slow. Got a little overconfident that there's gonna be a bunch of sand right there and just hit my leg into a rock. Gotta go slow. Slow, Aaron, just <laughs> gotta go one leg at a time. You gotta feel the area on the bottom in front of you and make sure you have a firm grip on at least one leg at all times. All right, quick update. It is now past two o'clock and I decided to switch spots at 12 o'clock just because, you know, because of all those no fishing signs, it wasn't really panning out. And, you know, at one time I thought I maybe wanted to go way up river, but I was like, I just thought it would take too long so I'd have to go over too many shoals to get where I was hoping to go. So I'm fishing some familiar water that I've fished before and I think we'll catch some more fish here. Like I said, it's probably about like 2.15 right now. So we still got like six hours till dark, even though I, you know, wasted a couple hours switching spots. So let's we'll see if we can get on some more fish. There's one. It's not very big. Man. Oh, he's running. It's not bad. I'll take him. All right. Well, maybe I just found some fish. That one I lost a second ago seemed really good. And yeah, this has some fairly red eyes. They're probably spawning up in here. That was a good one. I don't think it was like a 20 inch or anything, but it's, I think the one I just missed a second ago was probably about an 18 incher, which would have been our best fish of the day by far, but I feel good because I finally am on some more fish and th there really are so many bass in this river. So many more than, you know, the mountain rivers I'm kind of used to fishing that just, they don't hold as many bass as this one does. All right, that's a little guy. If we catch a big one, I'll probably go measure it. My kayak's like just over there. But it, I think we found some fish again, finally. There's one. Not the best hook set on this one either. All right. Oh wow, not too bad. All right. Not a bad looking one. Well, I think I found an area where there's fish. This one might be 15. I'm not gonna go back to measure him. Well, I'm pretty close, but I don't really need to measure this one. All right, well, this is a decent fish. I mean, I said 15, he's probably not quite that big. Maybe 14 and a half from over there. Wow, right there. <laughs> this guy bit right in front of me. I guess I should have cast it in there more before I came here, but I mean, I got him, so 
worked out. It's a little guy. Yeah, like I said, kind of figuring something out again. Took me a while to catch one once I got here, but now I'm in a good area and I know they're biting the black trick worms. So, you know, I think it is a little early for topwater in general. So I am surprised I, you know, caught like four earlier and had, I had probably at least eight topwater hits, probably more than like 10. It's another little guy. Two casts in a row. Uh. Oh, this one's better. I don't think he's anything crazy, but he's probably the best one in the day. Man, he's digging. It's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Might need my net for this one. Oh. Gosh, my choppa is stuck in the net. Might need to just flip him, yeah. I should be able to flip him. Ooh, oh wow. That's not bad. It's at least 17. Oh wow, yeah, that's good. There we go. We need stuff more like this for the uh, tournament. My kayak's moving, but he's right about 17. Yeah, he's like, just reaches 17. All right, well that's our first like solid fish of the day. Nothing huge, but 17 inch is definitely a solid one. He kind of just barely reached 17, but uh, I'm happy to catch him. Ooh, he's got some blood on his tail, so I mean, I know they're spawning, but uh, that kind of helps confirm it, but not a bad one, and I feel like we're actually kind of on a pattern now, so that's a good thing, and that was just two casts in a row. I got two fish. thought about weighing him, but there's no point, really. The kayaking, we just get inches for the most part. He's, you know, two and a quarter or so, probably. Oh, had a bite right there. Thought about I might be able to get one right here. I think they're all up in this little area. Probably wasn't very big, but. Oop, not too big, but man, we're on them now. This feels good. The switch probably is gonna end up paying off. Even though it took me a while, once I switched to catch one, I'm definitely kind of on the fish now. Another little one, probably like 13 inches. I mean, really, you know, we have a 17, a 15, and a quarter, and then a bunch of small ones. So, my best five right now is, you know, not the greatest, but I'm just happy I'm catching fish. All right, he's about 14 and a quarter, it looks like. Beautiful shoal bass. That's why I love these fish. They look cool and they fight so hard. Oh, got another one. Oh yeah, feisty one. He's decent. I, I don't know. He's just a crazy fighter. I don't think he's anything that big really. Maybe 15 or so, but... Oh my goodness, a fighter. Gosh. Oh, okay, he's might be 16. Maybe. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, maybe 16, maybe. And that's fish number 10. We've reached double digits, which typically on this river is not very hard. There's just so many fish in this river. You can have days where you catch a ton. I mean, the first time I ever fished here, I caught over 30 bass. But yeah, this one's probably 16. Maybe not quite, but around there. All right, he was 15 and three quarters, so not quite 16, but definitely a solid fish there. And he was fighting crazy hard. But I think this area, this area is pretty similar where I've gotten bites in a couple other places, so I think this is a good area. There's one small little guy this one came in the front of the pool it seems like I'm catching most of them towards the back of the pools but that's a tiny little guy definitely don't want him for the tournament but I mean you just catch so many here it's like I think basically everyone's gonna have a limit I mean 
I wouldn't be surprised if everyone has a limit. Let him go. Oh, we got a fighter. I don't think he's very big. Oh, actually, no, he's not that big, but oh, oh gosh, he's pretty good. He's not bad. Let's get the net ready. Man, oh yeah, he's good. This might be an 18. Dude, this is a solid fish. It's funny how sometimes the big ones, or this one just didn't seem as big. Oh my gosh, it's good. Holy cow, it's really good. Gosh. Get in the net, bud, please. Oh man, that's a nice one. Wow, that's a nice sholey. Sheesh, it might be more like 19. Let's go, making a move was so worth it today. I tried to fish new water, and I did, and I caught fish, but it just wasn't what I wanted, so. I'm glad I came back to an area I was more familiar with and knew would be good. Wow. Dude, that's a nice shoal bass. I think he's probably at least 19. Look at that thing. It might not look as big because it's so far away from the camera. And I thought he was a small one. Oh, look at that pig. Yeah, I think he's got to be 19. I don't think he's a 20, but that's a good fish. It's one of my biggest shoal bass ever. All right, this fish was right at 19 and a quarter kind of just barely got him to 19 and a quarter so this is like tied for my second longest shoal bass ever i would imagine he's over three let's weigh him three pounds three ounces so the other one i caught that was 19 and a quarter was three two so just about same size there really nice one wow what a fish right there that's a good one if you want to bite, same time next week. That would be great. I'll be back out here. Yeah, a week from now, I'll be back out here in the tournament. Uh, the tournament is four hours on Friday and I believe eight hours on Saturday next week. So fish like that are the ones you want. But honestly, the person who wins is probably going to have five bigger than this. Or at least bigger than this on average. I mean, maybe five of these would win you the thing, but I doubt it. It's probably going to need to be a little bigger. Ooh, there she goes. Yeah, she's good to go. And I've caught, I think I've caught three right here. Is that right? I caught, yeah, I caught one there, one here, and one there. And I also missed one back there. So it's a good little area right here. Definitely have to fish here during the tournament. And right above me here, there's kind of a similar hole, you know, kind of deep with a bunch of grass and stuff. All right, y'all, that is going to be it for this video. But that was not the end of that day of fishing. I caught a bunch more fish that day including an absolute giant so you're going to want to stay tuned for my next video to see the second half of that day of practice and i know some of y'all are probably eager to see the tournament videos and they will be out but it may take a while just because i practice four days and you're the maximum you're allowed to practice is four days but you know like this day i'm making two videos and then the other three days will probably be another three videos and then I have the two tournament videos. So I may actually post the tournament videos before all my practice videos because with my one video a week scheduled, you know, the tournament wouldn't be out for like forever. So I don't really know. I'll probably end up posting it before all the practice videos and then just post uh, some of those videos later. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for that next one. It's the rest of that day of fishing is really good. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, but I'll catch y'all in that next video. Thanks for watching.